that, that he killed, well, allegedly killed a kid. No, he did kill the kid. He admitted to it. He admitted to it. Well, he says he, they say he didn't admit to it. He just didn't say anything. Well, in the debriefing, when he debriefed on the 19 murders, he admitted. He, you have to because here's here's how you get pinched. When you debrief and say all, you know, he's he's laid out. If you fucking tell us everything, we're going to give you the five years and maybe you do three. Don't leave out anything. So trust me, he did not leave out shooting this kid because that alone can just fuck up your entire plea. Happened to a, some guy that was supposed to be a friend of mine. He tried to take his wife down. So he tells them, this is like years later. They, you know, he kills this kid on the street. This is 1977. Apparently uh, Gravana does a hit. Kids watching, kids what, teenager, 15, something like that, and kills this kid. But what kind of fuck you? I mean, come on. The family's got to be out, outraged. The father, I mean, come on. Yeah, so we, we have the article. Pull up the um, <clears throat> the one where he killed the kid because I, I didn't believe that. I mean, killing a fucking kid? Fuck. Jesus. A I mean, kid. you want to talk about it. I mean, that's now, a little now. Too now, here's what's. Here, uh, he never admitted he murdered a child of Sammy. The bull victim lash out at interview. Scroll down. No, he won't say it in public, but on the debriefing. Yeah. The, While a recent tell-all interview, former Gambino honor ball Sammy the Bull Gravano approaches 2 million views on YouTube, the families of 19 people he admitted to murdering are forced to grieve all over again. Authorities said one of those victims was a 16-year-old Alan Kayser. An innocent bystander shot and killed seconds after witnessing Gravano and an associate carrying out a drive-by shooting in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn in 1977. So we were both looking, and you had mentioned that um, Sammy the Bull Gravano. Um, I hate this fucking cocksucker. <laughs> you do, man. I've never met anybody that hates him more than Well, me. it's not like a personal thing. It's more of a he's just so full of shit. You know, and and what he's got away with, and what he's got the world believe in, it's it's fucking. It's I, I don't get it. I don't get how you know he's, he's got a good following, right? You can't can't take that away from him. But if they love the mob, this these followers, you would think, well, fucking rule number one is don't rat. That's like the golden rule. Don't rat. Don't betray your friends. Don't kill for money. And there's certain codes of honor you go by. So you would think that these people that follow him would would be looking up to those type of principles. But they don't. They just, it's like they like him because he ratted. You're a good guy and you got kids. And he was talking about how his kids would sit on his lap and he got to love the guy and the kids. And he's, he's trying to portray portray himself as this person that he's really not. He's just he's just not sitting on you know kid sitting on his lap. He loved the guy. You know he didn't he didn't love people. He just fucking loved money. He loved money, greed, kill people, and that was it. He liked power. Now what he's trying to do is try to be look. I'm a I'm a normal person. He even talks about you know gays, gay people, right? And the way that he says it, that's not the way they would have talked back then. Trust me. What's he say about gay people? Well, he just he just talks to them, you know, like, look, gay people are gay people. That It is what it is, right? But the way that he talks about them, the way that he presents his, his conversation now, as if he would have never used other words and he would have never thought any differently, but that he's always thought, well, just because you're gay doesn't make you any different. You know, he did this, this fucking presentation like, you know, Sammy the Bull in 1980 would have just sat next to a gay guy like, you know what? You're just gay. It's okay. Bull fucking shit. Ain't no I, gay guy sitting at a sit down in 19 fucking 80. <laughs> Ain't fucking happening. A gay guy gets straightened out in 1980 and they find out you're getting fucking lead in the ass. That's what you're getting in the ass. Yeah. It ain't the other thing. So, but he doesn't want to protect, portray that at all. He wants to portray that, listen, you're black, you're gay, whatever it is. That Sammy was always, everyone's the same. We're all human beings. That's not fucking true. That's, I mean, we are all human beings and we are all the same in a way. What I'm saying is not true is back when he was a gangster, that didn't fly. People didn't talk like that. People didn't act like that. Blacks called us names. We called them names. Maybe he changed. 
Yeah, maybe the five <laughs> five years in prison might have fucking changed him. Uh, three, well, no, right? he went back for the ecstasy. He did. He did. Now you know what's odd on that one? Which yeah, pull that up. The ecstasy one. It's the tab right next to the one you were uh, just last at. <sighs> fucking Sammy. We're fucking always talking about Sammy. Uh, you know, fucking people hate Sammy, but yeah, but they love him at the same time. You gotta yeah. love him because fuck, he gives you plenty of content to talk about. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you always got something to talk about with him. We'll get off him for a. Couple it's good because we could put the squeeze. We're putting the squeeze on him. Actually, we get to use his name. He probably maybe we'll actually come meet you in New York. Yeah, fuck, right. I gotta, I gotta withdraw that because his old ass ain't coming. All right, so this is the ecstasy case. This was uh, two thousand one. Mafia turned code Salvatore Sammy the Bull Gravano played a guilty Friday to. Uh, charges of ecstasy. He masterminded an ecstasy ring that sold the drug uh, from Arizona to New York. New York. He pleaded guilt- guilty to 10 counts of conspiracy to sell dangerous drugs, participating in criminal syndicate, illegal enterprise, offering to sell and transport dangerous drugs, money laundry, use of wire, and drug-related transactions, plus misconduct involving weapons and drug possession, Gravano's sentencing is on the 28th. Each of the sentences he served at the time, meaning Gravano faces up to 23 years. Gravano's wife, Deborah, and their children, Gerard, Gerard, Gerard and Karen, also pleaded guilty, so he involved his kids. And his wife. And his wife uh, before the judge. Go back down. Gravano pleaded to two counts of uh, legally conducting an enterprise and offering to sell and transport drugs. That was a nice uh, knockoff. Mm. Uh, he faces about nine years in prison when he's sentenced. Uh, his 40-year-old wife, Deborah, pled guilty. Uh, she looks at one year. Uh, the kid looks like pled guilty, use of wire and drug-related. She faces three years of uh, probation. <laughs> right. She's... And that's Pro- a fucking joke, right? So he gets nine months for all that. No, he got 20 years. Who, Gravano? I got 20 years. He didn't do 20 years. Though. No, he did fucking 18 and a half or something like that. He did? Oh, I didn't know he, he did, did 18. The judge, they st- well, here's what happened. The state, maybe the state didn't, uh, wasn't very happy with what happened in the feds. I mean, there's it, it just came back to bite him in the ass, right? So it comes time to, I can imagine that. The, the judge is looking at this guy. I got, wait a minute, you got a fucking five year sweet deal, right? You're five, so you did three. You're on, you're on uh, witness protection. Part of the deal was you got to keep your money, which he had millions of dollars. Then they gave him a job. I mean, he was a, a contractor. He had, he, I mean, he had, all, who the fuck? And they gave him plastic surgery, changed change his fucking face, all on the government, right? So here he is, he's in Arizona, fucking millionaire. But what happens? Here comes that. The I urge. need. I need that. I need to be Mr. Fucking Tough Guy. I can't be quiet. I can't lay low. I got. I gotta present my. The world needs to know who the fuck I am. Attitude. That's him. So he gets into the fucking ecstasy, and boom, he gets a fucking twenty piece. What I can't figure out, or unless someone could send us a message, you're gonna get a lot of messages, right? Where the fuck did he do his time in Arizona? Because no one can find out. Maybe they put him where they put uh, Leonetti. Well, there's a good there's a good chance that when he did his time in Arizona, because he talks about going, he went state prison, Arizona. Yeah. There's so many people wanted to kill him, from John Gotti, right? There's he was probably in, in witness, not protective, uh, protective custody. They've got certain prisons. Little the people know that there are prisons designated for high profile yeah. rats. Yeah. So. Um, Leonetti was in one of those, and I, I believe it was in Arizona. And it's it's a free for all. You uh-huh. can do whatever. The, it's not like protective. If you if anybody watched, have ever been in jail, it's not like protective custody like you may be used to, where you're locked in a cell. You know, it's one in twenty four. Mate, and I'm saying twenty four hours. You're in the cell. You get out four because you're PC right. protective custody. Where they go, Leonetti, uh, probably Sammy, um, whoever else. It's a specific federal prison. Just for rats. Just for rats. Yep. So everybody in there ratted. Right. They're all in the witness protection Right, right, program. right. It's no secret. No, yeah. it's not, they can't be pointing the fingers. You're a rat. You're a rat. No, yes. they're all fucking rats. They all walk around. No one's killing each other because you're all in the same plane. And field. they let them do whatever the fuck right. they want. Food, phone, you name yep. it. All, all that shit. So that that's where they put him. I didn't know he got 19 fucking years for that. But yeah. like you said, it came around and bit him in the ass. Yeah, it was, it was 20 and he probably did, I don't uh, know, A good 18? time he get. 
two months off a year, so he got 20 months off on the first 10, and then just say it's 20, he got 40 months off, so mm-hmm. he probably did 16. Yeah. And may- maybe 15, got a year house rest or something, got out early, halfway house. Well, it was state, so I don't know what the state good time was in, in Arizona. I'm sure. I think they give you a lot. 85% at least, right? Uh, I, well, if it's state, no. It could be anything. It could be Every you know, 10 different. to 20. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where you see the parole board at 10, so I don't know. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he only did 10. Mm, let's pull that, yeah, pull that pull up. up. Well, uh, Sammy, to- Sammy Gravano gets released from prison. Or uh, how many, just go to a new tab, or how many years did he get, right? So put in um, Sammy the Bull. They got to change that name. 